God bless you. You can see that we come to the Bible study tonight. And I want to remind you how important the Bible study is. The Bible study is the backbone of the believer. And many of us have been students in schools. We paid attention. We read over what we learned and then we're able to put that thing on paper. Eventually, some of us even became teachers, teaching other people the word of God. If we paid attention at school, if we learned everything well at school, if we concentrated when we studied, we studied those uh, subjects at school, and then we're able to master them. The same thing we should do when we come to study the Word of God. And I think that if we really evaluate very well and compare very well the Word of life, the Word of salvation, the word of his grace the word of revelation given by the lord is more important than all the subjects we studied at school number one we need to encourage our children the way we encourage our children to study and to concentrate on their studies at school we should do more and make sure that our children actually study the word of god you want them to get to heaven you want them to be saved and so more than we encourage them to study earthly subjects for their education we should encourage them to study the word of god for life eternal and then ourselves now as we were teenagers and we studied our books our, our, our for education in the same way our teenagers should not be allowed running around playing pranks or whatever when the Bible study is going on. If you're a parent having teenage children and you realize that your teenage children are not concentrating on the Word of God more than they do at school. And if you leave it like that, I'll say you're a careless parent. And you're a parent not understanding the eternal future of your children. Encourage our children, encourage our youths, encourage our teenagers that they will regard the Word of God, appreciate the Word of God, exalt the Word of God above the words of men that are studying many authors. And now ourselves too, the same concentration we gave to our earthly studies when we were school, that same consideration and concentration and commitment we give to the word of God now. I sometimes ask myself, now I'm an adult, how did I study my chosen subject at school? I really did the study. And by the grace of God, now that I am nearer the end than at the beginning, I need to be very sure that what I believe is not fake. And I have to delve into the Word of God just like I did in my educational days. And I give you the example. I'm always studying, I'm always reading, I'm always, always looking at the Word of God so that I will know and confirm I have not followed cunningly uh, devised fables. Everybody in the church should do that. The people here at the headquarters and the people all over, everywhere. And when I was at school, there were teachers I wasn't happy with because they didn't teach thoroughly as they ought to teach. But I never missed class. There were times I would be a little bit uh, unhealthy, maybe sick, many years ago now, but I never allowed a slight headache, a slight problem, a problem on the road to hinder me in studying what I wanted to study. And that's why, by the grace of God, I made it here in life. And I want to make it to heaven. I'm talking to somebody there. You will make it in Jesus' name. When I see those empty seats there, whatever the reason in the economy is the 
you know, whatever. I feel that the people who should study the Word of God more than we did at school, they're not putting in the excitement and the devotion that they should put in in studying the Word of God. The same thing in the state, in the region, in the nations, everywhere. Let us understand if we have decided to join and to be part of the deeper life, Bible church, then we should give the highest esteem and the highest concentration to the word of God that was studying more than we did, you know, in our earlier days. Can I remind you, I never, never in my school days, either secondary or primary or university, I never, I don't remember me ever getting up to go somewhere and come back while the teacher was teaching and it is unthinkable that as the word of god is going on and we're teaching the word of god somebody will get up go and then come in it's not right i should never do that always think about christ passing his word to you through the preacher and uh, even though he's not physically here he's spiritually here and if christ the lord christ the savior and christ the teacher is teaching you and you leave him talking you're not interested in what next thing he will say what next point it will give and then you get up and roam about and do whatever you want to do outside and then come in I cannot imagine the New Testament disciples ever doing that. And so let's understand and give the glory due unto the Lord. Give him that glory. As we do that, motivate, mobilize our children, our youths, make them behave right at the Bible study. And we ourselves, as their parents, adults, we also do the right thing as we come to the fellowship, to the study, and to learn from the Lord. I pray the blessings of the Lord and the blessing of studying will multiply in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. The final thing before I go to the study, our leaders, our leaders who are, you know, helping to bring our members understand the purpose why we're divided into districts into groups into local churches so that we'll have a shepherd a leader that the people will respect and they will be effective in bringing the people to the central church Otherwise, why do we have the leaders there? If we're not doing that, if you only come by yourself, you don't check up who is there, who is not there, we are failed in fulfilling the purpose of our calling and the purpose why the Lord put us there. And so let's shake up, let's shape up, and let us be revived enough as we see the day approaching so that we will not be failures in Jesus' name. I will not be a failure. If you don't do what the Lord has raised up to you to do, you are a failure. And I don't know what to expect in as reward from the Lord on the final day. Let's all work together. Let's unite together. I do my duty. I do my part. Do your part, do your duty so that the church, the people of God under you will stand up to what they ought to stand up for and do what they ought to do. Don't pet the people, don't pat the people on the back, show them the way. And as you go on the way yourself and you call other people, they'll follow the way as well in Jesus' name.